Toyota Camry pretty much typifies the mid-class or mid-size sedan segment now. It could be seen in the dictionary when you look up the term mid-size sedan. Uh, that's not to say it's a bad thing. It does a really good job of being a mid-size car. In fact, that's why Edmunds.com gave it an A rating uh, because everything it's intending to do, it does fairly well. You have uh, a couple engine choices, a two and a half liter four cylinder, a uh, two and a half liter four cylinder with a hybrid system attached to it that gives you about 200 net horsepower and also a really powerful three and a half liter V6, a surprisingly powerful three and a half liter V6 that you wouldn't expect in this kind of car. When we drove it, we were kind of like, man, this thing seems a lot faster than it should be. Uh, the features are there. The rough ride quality is comfortable. Uh, this, pretty much if you need a car to get you A to B, you don't care what it is, this is the, re it's the reason why so many people choose this car. It's because of these reasons. It's pretty much the de facto standard of the segment. And as non-exciting as it might be, there's not much to say about a car that does its job that well. Here we are inside the Toyota Camry. Uh, no key because we're at an auto show and uh, so I can't turn on any of the gauges or anything to show you how this looks. Uh, but this is pretty typical, you know, workmanlike uh, stuff here out of your family sedan. Uh, analog gauges on the outside, a digital cluster in the center. Uh, your entertainment system, this is large, easy to use, easy to see buttons, easy to control, all that stuff. You have a USB power outlet, a 12 volt power outlet, and a auxiliary jack. Also, you can close this so if you leave your uh, wallet or phone in there, nobody will be able to see it. Uh, two cup holders, additional power uh, options in here, a 12 volt power supply in there. And you know, spacious interior room, uh, comfortable seats. This is pretty much the standard if you want to go A to B in comfort. But let's take a look at the back seat as well. Here's the back seat. Now, good, good size back here for a lot of body types. Knees aren't touching the seat in front of me. Uh, headroom is strong. There's no rear vents, uh, no controls back here, which is a bit of a bummer for the backseat passengers. They might get toasty back here, uh, but I'm sure we'll find that in the options. No power options too either, which is a bit of a bummer. Your, your backseat passengers don't have much to do here. Now the Toyota Camry starts at about $23,000. Expect to pay more for the hybrid and the three and a half liter V6 options, of course, but to find out more, be sure to visit Edmunds.com.